Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Celebs Daily. In today's video, we are going to talk about a highly requested topic, which is Khloe Kardashian's messing dating history. So, as you probably know, recently Tristan Thompson started his 2022 with a statement saying that he got his side chick pregnant, and after a paternity test, it showed that he was the father. And in this story, he was saying the same stuff that he was sorry, he was apologizing to Chloe, saying that she deserves better. And people have a lot of sympathy for her, they're encouraging her to leave him to find someone else that is faithful. But the thing is that Chloe isn't the victim. She has a really messy dating history, and I will explain you how. So I highly believe on the statement, how you get them is how you lose them. So if a man cheats on his girlfriend or wife to be with you, well, you will get the same treatment, because people don't change. You're not different, he won't change for you. It's gonna be the same story. Karma will get you back. And this is what's going on with Chloe. So the first relationship we're gonna talk about is with Lamar Odom in 2009. Her and the basketball player started dating in 2009. And after a month or two, they decided to get married. Their marriage was documented on the reality show Keeping Up With The Kardashian and they seemed to love each other so much. But there is a background story and it's the Lamar Odom at the time when he met Chloe, he decided to leave actress Taraji P. Hanson. He recently admitted all of that in an interview. So as you can see, Chloe was the side piece. I don't know if at the time she knew that Lamar was dating Taraji. But the thing is that he left another woman to be with her. If she is so feminist and she says that women need to have each other's back, well, she needs to start to do the same. And this is not the only time she would do that. And not gonna lie, I'm kinda happy that everything happened because Taraji is doing amazing, she's having an amazing career. While Lamar, when he got married with Chloe, he had a lot of mess to deal with. His substance addiction, he was cheating constantly on Chloe, so there was quite of a downfall for him. Another relationship we're gonna talk about is with the rapper French Montana. So the two started dating in 2013 2014. But the thing is that when they started dating, French Montana was living with rapper Trina, and Chloe and Trina were really good friends. In fact, Trina found out about the affair, just like everybody else, on Twitter, after TMZ spotted Chloe and French together. In an interview at the Breakfast Club, Trina said that she was pissed, she was heartbroken, and she found out just like everybody else. And Chloe wasn't done with that, she said that she wanted another of Trina's exes. In fact, she started dating basketball player James Harden around 2015. Him and Trina dated in the past and same year, Chloe decided to date him. So I think girl code is a really a thing for Chloe. I don't know, that's what it shows here. And now we're gonna talk about her relationship with Trey Songz. So, her and Trey Songz got spotted getting cozy at a club, and paparazzi shows that Chloe was all over him. Well, Trey Songz used to date Lauren London, and Chloe and Lauren were really, really close friends. So much that Lauren was a bridesmaid at Chloe's wedding, so they were really close to each other. Well, after Chloe was spotted with Trey, Lauren didn't like the situation. In fact, with Cassie, she was shading Chloe in this video saying that she doesn't like fake girls, etc. Um, we just want to say that we hate fake bitches. All of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, as I said before, girl code isn't a thing for Chloe. And now let's talk about her relationship with Tristan Thompson and how it started. So, while Chloe was being public and announcing to the world that she was dating the basketball player Tristan Thompson, Jordan Craig was expecting his first kid. And both they were in a really serious relationship, while all of a sudden, Chloe and Tristan started dating and being so public. Jordan Craig is a social media influencer and lifestyle blogger, and people knew her and knew that she was expecting Tristan's kid. So they started to tell Chloe that, in fact, she was dating a man that was in a whole other relationship and it was obvious because on Instagram there were pictures of them together but it seems like Chloe didn't care much and she never addressed the situation then the big scandal happened family friend Jordan Hurt kissed Tristan Thompson at a party and Chloe wasn't shy about dragging Jordan online 
But the thing is that she went off on Jordan, which I understand because she's a family friend so she did something wrong. But she wasn't going off on Tristan. And she said that she was handling things in private because he's the father of her kid and she didn't want it to make everything public, that Jordan shouldn't have done the interview. But I honestly don't believe this. She said this so many times and she never really dragged publicly Tristan. For example, during the first cheating scandal, she said that she was pregnant, she didn't want to think about this, etc. Every time she finds an excuse to not drag him and make him accountable of, for what he did, but also find a strategy to be silent and then go back to him. Chloe is kind of the girlfriend that she will drag the side chick, but not her man, and I hate this type of women. Well, after dragging Jordan, the internet decided to remind Chloe that Tristan wasn't her man, that she took it from another Jordan. And Chloe finally decided to address the situation, saying that she didn't know that at the time when they started dating, he was dating also Jordan Craig, so his first baby mama. And that she didn't know it, etc. But if she was so feminist and all the time she's coming with her, with her quotes on Instagram and Twitter and saying that women need to have each other's back, where is her girl code? Why she's always the side piece? Why she's always stealing somebody's man? And don't get me wrong, men are trash. If you cheat, you're trash. So they are also part of the problem. But Chloe always acting like she's the victim. Why she have been the side piece of so many men in the past and most of the time in this situation she betrayed a friend, so she's not any better. Chloe's trash and her dating history shows it. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Yeah, no, I kinda sound hateful in this video, I understand, but I hate hypocrisy. I hate when someone is trying to look like is the victim, that they are sad, etc. And she's always coming with these motivational quotes on Instagram. While in reality she's not any better. So yeah, let me know in the comments what do you think about this situation. Do you feel bad for Chloe or she's getting her karma back? If you want to know my opinion, I think Chloe is getting her karma back. As I said before, I really believe in the statement, how you get them is how you lose them. If a man cheats on another woman to be with you, well, stay sure he will do most likely the same to you. So better just don't get in this type of situation in the first place. And it's not just her, most of her family members are doing the same. The Kardashian are quite known to be side piece and then look like they are just the main chick and their man is just so faithful. Chloe isn't the only one. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram as Plastic Celebs and it's Celebs Daily and see you guys next time. Bye!